I recently had a request for a video from uh, Drew Biden, hopefully I pronounced your name right, on bending metal with a hydraulic press. Well, I just got through making two pieces and I didn't think to video it. But I'll just explain some of the tooling I've got. Uh, what I just did was make some little offset pieces. Ah, it blurred out. Made some little offset pieces. And it's a simple enough die. And I had to form it up where it was on both sides and then cut it off. I just formed it one long piece, bent it up, and sawed it in half. And uh, that's, uh, originally, I, were, I was making these things years ago. And I used double sided tape because I didn't want to put screws in my motorhome and the double-sided tape didn't hold, and I still don't want to put screws in the motorhome, so uh, this bracket didn't work out. I made a bunch of these, but anyway, that's what the die was originally, a little punch and the die were originally made for. Obviously, when you make something like this, you got to consider your material thickness, and it's got to be bent on both sides in order to equalize the force. That's one tool. Then probably the, the tool perhaps to be most interested in is this one down here. I built my first one many decades ago for a place I used to work and uh, I made a smaller one for them. That, like I say it was the first one and what you do is you take your material thickness, you make a punch which can be as simple as, as this particular one and uh, put your material in here and this is adjustable and you can adjust it right up to whatever your material thickness is. These two screws are pushers. Or no, this is the pusher and these two are pull. No, it's the other way around. These two are pushers and this is a puller. So that means this piece is tapped. And you can change these out. And there's always one corner radius. So that would go up. And this has been a very handy tool. And then I built one for the last place I worked. So that, that tool is worth discussing. Everything else is is probably not worth that much discussion, but, but here, here here's a, a big block of polyurethane. Now you can take that and about any kind of punch that you want and bend a piece of metal with that because this will just crush down. You can see where it's crushed down. As a matter of fact, I think this tool was, was used with it. And I don't remember what I was bending. Looked like maybe a half inch rod. And your punches can really be crude. I mean, just a piece of round rod welded to a flat and pushed down on it. And I have no idea what I used that for. As a matter of fact, it don't even look like it's been used. But anyway, now this particular tool goes back when I had a different, smaller hydraulic press and all I had was a bandsaw. And so I just literally sawed that out and the pieces that got sawed out then became the, the punches. That was maybe my first jig of some sort. That was back in the days when I didn't didn't have much equipment. And it looks like I've ground some places here for a round rod. And so this is a real early tool. This, this would date back to the 1960s. Uh, later on, got a little fancier. And it's got a, a line plate where you can line up your work back against that and then push down on it. It's got two different punches, two different radiuses. A bigger radius and a smaller radius. So you got a choice of radiuses. There's also a tool I made years ago. Best I recall, I made a, friend, uh, a frame for a little old scooter for my kid, but I don't remember ever finishing that. I'd have to ask him if he ever remembers having a little moped like. But anyway, I just bent conduit with that. It seemed to me like I filled the conduit with sand or dirt or something, then bent it so it wouldn't crush. Then uh, this definitely goes back into the 60s. We had a house with hammered hardware. It looked like, you know, blacksmith had made it, and the wife wanted a towel. Uh, something to hold her towels on the front of the sink. So I made two rings, 
then I made these little brackets and I had to make this this little bending jig to bend them up with so that was done a long time ago and then I don't even remember what these parts were for but they're fairly recent I just claim old age on this one but as you can see it's got line up line up bars on each side of it and you push that down and you get that bracket so that's pretty much it uh, I do have more tooling but I don't remember what I used it for the brooches are up up in the top up there I got a lot of brooches and then there's some big old brake dies that came out of the factory I, uh, I had a job where I was to cut this brake die off and I bought the end that I cut off they were just going to throw it away and then one of the ends I cut that in half later on myself where, where the heck am I here yeah there's the other one uh, and I milled milled it out to a sharp V this one's got a big radius in it I don't think I've ever used the one with a big radius and uh, then it of course, I made big punches for it. And here's a one I made just recently for uh, for bending some poly polycarbonate on my mill. It's got a little locating ledge here, and then that same punch I just used on it. So hopefully, this quick explanation serves whatever purpose you wanted to see the see me bend something I can say I forgot to show you bending it but I, I mean there's nothing to it you pump the hydraulic press and it comes down and pushes on your tooling so it's, it's really all in your tooling uh, I do have some video of me trying to make a cone using the press but that's all kind of dangerous and uh Probably best not to publish that. Somebody's liable to try that and, and get hurt. I don't have anything else to say. But, uh, Drew, hopefully, hopefully this satisfies your curiosity.